Hey, Brian Sullivan, founder of Precise Selling with your weekly video tip. Now, I want to share with you a story. This was a sales call that I was involved in today, but I wasn't doing the selling. A software salesperson was trying to get me to place a purchase order slash spend money. So he sent me my Zoom invite, went through a nice hour-long demo, and I got to tell you, I liked what I was seeing. Now, he asked me a closing question. He said, so, Mr. Sullivan, what do you think? And I said, well, I kind of like it, but I have a question for you. He paused and I fired. My question was this, hey, man, I like this. This looks really good. I think it can help me. Um, question for you is, give me two or three things where this software isn't perfect. Where in fact, that, you know, maybe the competition might even be better than you. He froze up like a bank wall. That guy had no clue what to say. He kind of paused. He's like, well, um, really nowhere. Um, we're better here. Like we do this great. We do this great. And he just kept reiterating how amazing he was. And you know what happened? I don't know. He lost a little street cred with me. Now I want you to think about it. When you present, is your company or your product way too good to be true? When you deliver your sales presentation, do you talk only about the benefits and then you kind of hide from the areas where you fall short? Uh -uh. See the next time, as you deliver your benefits, I want you to tell the customer about an area too where you are not perfect. And why? I don't know. Because your prospect will believe your benefits even more by doing so, just like with me today. All right, I'm gonna give you an example. There was an ad agency and they did a test on two different products. Now for the first product, they mentioned that they were better than the competition in three of five areas. And then the second product they said was superior in all five areas, just like my sales guy. Now you might be surprised to hear that the ad that mentioned that it wasn't absolutely perfect was the one that actually performed better. Is that surprising? I don't know, yeah, maybe. But think about why it's the case. It's the case because people want the truth. They don't want manipulation. They don't want half truths. They don't want to be led. And if they get a way too good to be a belief story out of you, they're going to go out on their own and they're going to discover and research the areas where your solution isn't perfect. And they're going to figure out, again, on their own. And if they have to do that, uh-oh, there goes your credibility. So here's the lesson for this week. I want you to keep it real. Be the salesperson that gives them everything they need to know. I say everything they need to know. And if your company, your product, your solution isn't as good as the competition in one or two areas, but it blows them away in a bunch of other areas, that's great. Go ahead and sell your benefits with passion and then mention your shortcomings with integrity. And in the end, you're gonna develop the trust you need to create customers that will keep calling you. And you know why they're gonna keep calling you? Because from you, they get the truth. All right, and that's the truth from Precise Selling. We'll see you next week for your Precise Selling Tip.